Construction crews recently busted a mobile home park's sewer pipe in Arroyo Grande. It's created challenges for residents and property owners as no one wants to claim responsibility. KSBY News reporter Michael Torres is live at the mobile home park for us tonight. Michael, what'd you find out? Karina, some residents here at the Vagabond Mobile Home Park are without their own restrooms after one of the park's sewer lines was broken by a neighboring business's construction. This now making for a difficult situation for the park, the business, and the city. So now it's plugged up and we got to be pumped every week. Glenn Davis has lived at the Vagabond Mobile Home Park in Royal Grande for seven months. He's one of the seven units affected by a damaged sewer line, forcing him to use the park's public restroom. This comes after a neighboring business, Rugged Radio, was doing construction and ended up damaging the pipe. The situation gets tricky as the city and Rugged Radio say there was never a record of the Vagabond Mobile Home Park's existing sewer line on their property. Since there's no indication or easement uh, document submitted uh, for that sewer lateral, then uh, no one knew it was there and um, uh, that's kind of the reason it was crushed. Robeson says since it's private property, the city doesn't have any legal responsibility to fix it. That leaves Rugged Radio and the mobile home park the chance to work out a solution. But the owner of Rugged Radio says, We have done our due diligence, plan checked, and everything in accordance with the city of Arroyo Grande. According to the city, this leaves the mobile home park owner responsible of fixing the issue because it was their sewer line and the park didn't have a recorded utility easement. The mobile home park manager says in a statement to KSBY, nobody wants to take responsibility for it because it's an easement that slipped past the city's knowledge and we're going to be affected as the people who use that easement and sewer since 1961. Davis believes as a resident, the answer to the problem is help from the city. The solution would be is the city needs to step in and help these people. The mobile home park site manager says she expects any repairs would cost $50,000 or even more. Live in Arroyo Grande, Michael Torres, KSBY News. Michael, thank you. Arroyo Grande city officials say since the sewer line is from the mid to late 1960s and is on private property, the city is not responsible for the pipe.